Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Fisherman Norby. Get excited, we're gonna be some, doing something we've never done today on my YouTube channel. So what we're gonna be doing, I'll show you here in a minute, I'm actually gonna tie up a little fly and we're gonna go after some big, massive crappie here on a pond. Uh, I've got a little minnow out of the pond. I'll kind of show you guys what it looks like here. Uh, kind of silver on the bottom, kind of grayish, darkish on top. We're gonna tie up a fly that looks super similar to that and go out there, see if we can catch a few crappie. A fly in a bubble, I'm gonna be using a spinning rod just because it's a little windy today and I think they're gonna be spawning next to shore. So I'm super excited out here in my garage today. Let's tie up a fly and get going. All right, I got my vise set up on my workbench here. I got my tiny little hook in the vise. You see that? Super tiny, it's like a size 16 hook. And I need something to put on it. We need some white hair. Um, my dog has white hair. We're gonna go cut a little hair off my dog. I gotta go find him first. Scout, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh yeah, stay, stay, stay. Oh yeah, there we go, got some. Let's go tie that fly. All right, so we got our scout fur. We're gonna be using that. I'm gonna tie up two flies with it, just in case I break one off today. And I'm also gonna get some darker color um, hair as well to match the gray that was on top of that minnow we found. Let's see what we got. I gotta dig around here in my old fly box find some dark color fur. I'm gonna need my scissors, gonna need my thread spool. We're gonna get going here. All right guys, there you have it. Scout's hair is that little white puff. And I put on some grayer hair. Uh, on the tail there and wrapped around the body. I also put lead on this little fly hook. Um, that way it sinks down in the water. So this little guy is about an inch long and it looks just like the little minnows we have here. I'm excited. Let's get out there and go catch some. Got that fly tied up right there and walking over to a spot where I think they're gonna be biting. But I, I got a little cork on here and I got a split shot about six inches down. And another foot, foot and a half down, I got my fly. I'm gonna be tossing this out there, slowly reeling it in, twitching it a little bit, probably to act like a little minnow. But I think these crop are gonna be spawning. So if, if they're still over here in this area, I caught another day. I think we're gonna get into them today. Hopefully some big ones, guys. Um, fishing it on a little ultralight rod and reel. Most of you guys have little spinning setups. This is a lose combo, and I'll link it down below. I'll link everything I'm using down below. You guys can go check it out, except for the fly. You have to make that yourself. But we got four pound test fluorocarbon and a two pound test leader. That's what we're gonna be using today. You wanna go light on your line, especially using flies. So I'm gonna start right here, get to cast, and hopefully we catch for you. Let's go. See what this guy looks like in the water. Get it wet, that way it starts sinking. Oh yeah, looks just like one of these little minnows. This thing's gonna get munched to guys, I have a feeling. There's some water flowing through this pond out of the spillway. They should be eating. There we go guys, I'm hooked up. First fish of the day. I was twitching it back and forth. What do we got? Oh, it's a little bluegill. Little baby bluegill. They'll eat it too. Look at that, guys. This jig is beautiful. It's shining. It's got scouts white hair on its belly like these little minnows. And it's got a brown tail, kind of a grayish body. Looks just like these little minnows in the pond. Plus, I added that little strip of shine to it. That fish wanted it. There's another one back to back. Oh, my gosh. We found the bluegill, guys. Oh, my goodness sakes. Look at the size of this one wow oh my gosh that fish is huge guys huge bluegill oh man i need the pliers on this one swallowed it there we go wow look at that can lip that one easily look how big that gill is on it that's a red ear huge absolutely huge 
that's two in a row well i'm gonna go back here see if there's any more big bluegill but then we're gonna go over here try for some crappie i'm just giving it little twitches they're munching it there's one. Oh my goodness he's fighting hard guys oh my goodness my drag's too tight wow oh my gosh absolute tank gills that's crazy that's crazy i've been looking for these in this pond they're huge man i've been looking for these that's awesome it's not what we're after today but man that's a fun fight wow all right i'm gonna move on down the bank we're gonna see if there's any crappie on down here by these kind of little cattails um the bluegill are loaded underneath this little tree coming out so that's crazy i'm gonna cast one more right in the shadow of this tree crappie like the shadow so we'll see if there's sit anything sitting in that shadow there yep there sure was oh my gosh what do we got oh my gosh it's another gill guys the gills are just loaded they're huge man that's a good fly right there that is a good fly fish are loving it yep money money make sure you bring pliers guys you don't want to get spined just easier flies holding up good i'm gonna make one more cast in the shadow see if there's any crappie there and if not we're gonna move try to find them just moved over here there's more weeds in the water more places for these crappie to hide they like the weeds they like the shade Let's see if there's any over here there's one guys another gill jeez that's crazy so many bluegill so many bluegill this one's tiny they were stacked in that other spot biggins too another one gilly oh my this one really swallowed it where are the crappie at they were here two days ago guys i promise I don't know where they're at. Might just have to move down the bank a little bit, cast them between these trees, try to find them. There's one, guys. Oh, it's a ghillie. Tiny ghillie. There's one. Oh, that's a big one. Oh my. This fish is fighting hard. Come here. Oh, yeah. No way. No way, guys. We caught a golden shiner. What? Check that out. That's so cool. That thing is fat. Big old golden shiner. Wow. That's what I've been wanting to make a uh, bass or catfish video with. Let me know if you want me to see a live bait video down below. I'll put this golden shiner on a hook. I'll come back out here, catch one with my throw net and we'll make a video live bait golden shiners but that's not what we're after right now i don't even have a bucket to keep him alive if we we're gonna do that so i'll just have to catch another one sometime here whoo he swallowed it guys i'm telling you you tie a fly that matches what they're eating you'll catch a lot of fish a lot of fish there's one smoked it man feels like a good one oh we got some crappie look at that black crappie this dude's super dark really black munched it all right there we go had to come over by the cattails that is where he was sitting fly still holding up about 15 fish later all right guys, so we just caught one crappie. I caught about, I don't know, 10 or 12 bluegill already. This is gonna be a bluegill episode now. There are just too many giants biting, but hope you guys are enjoying this. We might run into some big crappie, but I noticed the water's turning. It's super nasty, stuff floating to the top. As I'm watching a clear spot of water, stuff will just float to the top. And the crappie must have moved. 
and they're not biting. Ponds normally shut off when the water's turning like that. Fish just quit biting for a day or two till it gets back to normal, but we're gonna keep at them here. Let's go. There's one, guys. Oh, another fighter. This thing's huge. Oh, man. Let's go. Let's go. Look at that. So cool. Begging. Catching these big old bluegill and shell crackers. There's one, guys, hooked up. Oh, man, that's a good one, whatever it is. Oh, it's a slab. Big old slab bluegill. Wow, he got wrapped around that thing. He got all wrapped up. And he swallowed it. Another big one. Guys, we keep walking around the pond. We keep catching bluegill. This is going to be a bluegill episode, I think. This is crazy. I thought we were going after big crappie. We're going after big bluegill. Hooked up, guys. Hooked up. What do we got? Oh my gosh. We got another golden shiner, guys. No way. Look at that. That's so cool. Everything's biting this little fly, guys. I guess when you match the hatch, everything in your pond eats it. Wow, that's cool. My pond's turning right now. All this scum's coming to the top. It's kind of crazy. It's nasty. I don't know where the crappie went. Oh, smoked it. What do we got? Another ghillie. Gillies are just loaded today, boys and girls. Loaded. That's crazy. We caught some giant ones earlier. On that other side of the pond. There we go. Smoked it. What do we got? We got something good here, guys. Oh, we got us a giant, I think. Oh, my goodness. Look at that wow another tank ghillie guys absolute tank ghillie look at that that man these are like 10 inch gills that's crazy swallowed it so fun We've caught all these flies fly is still holding up look at that beautiful same fly that's crazy just a massive right here see you buddy Oh, wow so cool guys so cool i hope you guys enjoyed this pan fishing episode as much fun as i had out here catching them it was a blast today guys caught a bunch of big gills one crappie and i think i missed a, another crappie or two but had a blast out here it's a beautiful day in alabama probably 80 degrees today it's in march still this is nuts but let me know what you thought caught all those fish on a piece of scout today kind of crazy you guys love scout got to see him and he just got him a haircut so hope you enjoyed the video drop me a comment let me know what you thought of it if you want to see some more big panfish episodes i'm gonna be chasing those big crappies so stay tuned we're gonna catch some but we'll catch you next time here on fishing with norby